Hey everyone, Kwan Yu with IB Me. How are you guys doing this evening? Hope you guys are okay. I do love these walks. <laughs> um, basically after work I walk Plato um, and I don't know if you guys noticed but when I'm on a like a longer walk I tend to think. I get really pensive. So um, some thoughts, random thoughts will pop up and um, so I'm just going to share with you the random thought that popped up today which kind of roller coastered into like loads of thinking insight into my brain more insights into my brain and how it works so I started thinking um, that a few, a few months ago um, me and the better half had a lot of time apart because he was working away um, I don't know how long it was for now a good five weeks I think I think it was meant to be for like a week and then it turned into five um, and we really missed each other and like it was like what it was beautiful when he came back we were both blubbering like idiots we'd missed each other we'd really realized how much we'd taken each other for granted um so when he first came back we were really like in that honeymoon lovey place right um and this was just Sort of beginning to middle of August um, and it's now the end of September losing track of time this year's gone so fast um, and we're already like when when it happened and we we're in that loving place my better half said to me yeah this will pass and then we'll we'll take each other for granted again and I was thinking really because we we're really in that lovey-dovey place like we really missed each other we don't want to live without each other don't leave me again that kind of mode right um, and recently it has it's been going back to old and I think we've started to take each other for granted again and started like getting on each other's nerves I don't know about getting, taking each other for granted but definitely getting on each other's nerves a lot more um, and I was just thinking on this walk today he's right oh my god we can just like go right back to where we were where we were taking each other for granted and not even realizing um or it can just like happen over time and because you're so busy like just getting on with normal everyday life you don't actually notice um and that led me to think about how horrible humans are how humans are just so selfish and you just get caught up in your own selves and you just think of yourselves and slowly slowly you just become a horrible person sometimes right or can become the potential to become a horrible person not like being thankful not being grateful not showing any more gratitude all about me 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 selfish 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 i want i want i want right um and then that spiraled onto um why do people like always want more like i feel like the human condition is to want more is like almost like we're never satisfied if we wanted something we went and got that and then there's always something else like we're always striving towards something else um and we're never happy with or we might be temporarily happy with what we've got or what we've achieved but then we get bored again or something right and then and then what popped into my mind is um one of the first like theories that i learned in um counseling and psychology right so you guys might have heard of it it's it's come into some workplaces um and it's become sort of general knowledge um in some areas of your life right um so it's Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So you may or may not have heard of it. Um, I'm going to try and explain it. I'm not the best at explaining things, but it's basically everyone starts and you need to fulfill your basic needs. So food, water, shelter. You need to make sure you're fed, you survive, you're surviving, you've got enough water, you've got enough food, you've got roof over your head and your environment is safe that you've got no predators. Some people trying to kill you or whatever right and then once all those are met um i can't remember like what each hierarchy is if i'm being honest but i i'll bet somewhere in there will be uh, a sense of community a sense of belonging um 
yeah so a sense that you're part of something that you're accepted um as well you get like unconditional love from either a partner or community that really accept who you are um and then one and then in the modern day world right it will include finances as well so finances will make sure that you have the roof over your head and you've got all the material things that you you want that you desire um, that kind of stuff and then once everything is in place then you are able to become the best version of you um, it's called the actualizing tendency my memory's rubbish um, I'm sure all my counseling friends can uh, correct me if I'm wrong um, so I think it's a self-actualizing tendency where uh, self-actualization is like you're the best version of yourself that you could ever be you can't get any better um, but I don't I think there's a debate whether this can actually be reached. Um, I think this is why we all are always wanting more because we always want to be better. Um, and that, of course, that will differ between every individual what better means. Some people want the house, want the car, want the pretty things, want the handbag, want whatever it is, right? Um, and other people will want inner peace and tranquility and peace of mind and you know all everything that meditation brings to be present in the moment and and then other people will, will want more for others so i guess what i'm trying to do um but i i'm you know i'm human i go back and forth between this want to um help other people which is what this is these videos are and hopefully someone will take from this and lots of people will take from this what they want and you know become self-actualizing themselves so to speak um and then you know there is the business side of me that's really excited about getting this like i be me logo and prints on like clothing and starting to sell it and maybe making some sort of money out of this right um not that that's the main aim but you know it'd be nice who's gonna say no to money right so i'm like flitting between um this want to help others and the want for my needs to be fulfilled myself um, so yeah, just giving you an insight today on how my brain can roller coaster from one thought onto the next to the next. So from relationships and like being all loving and taking each other for granted to <laughs> self actualization um, and Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So there you have it. That's that's me for today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.